Conor Burns. Mr Speaker, the reason why the 2016 referendum was the largest democratic exercise this country has ever seen was because that campaign engaged people who were marginalised and disillusioned and did not participate in our democratic process. And many of those people, in the months and years since that vote, have written to me and I imagine to many other colleagues, expressing their concern that somehow what they voted for would not be delivered upon. And I have written back to them, based on the excellent speeches the Prime Minister has made, on the promises that both front benches made in the manifesto last year, promising them that it would. But it strikes me that where we are today is not maybe where the Prime Minister hoped we would be when we started off. Would it not be more candid to say to the British public that this deal is not where the Prime Minister hoped we would be when she assumed office after that referendum? Say to my honourable friend, obviously, when we go through negotiations, compromises are made on both sides. That's the nature of a negotiation. But what I have kept my focus on is delivering on what I believe were the key issues that, as he said, many people who had never uh, uh, entered the democratic process before uh, voted for when they voted to leave the European Union. I think key for many people was bringing an end to free movement, and this brings an end to free movement. I think the end of the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, the end of sending those vast amounts of money to the European Union every year, were two other key factors that people voted for. But in, and that is what this deal delivers. But it does that in a way that does protect their jobs. And I think the people that my honourable friend talks about, those who are up and down the country, who felt marginalised all too often in the past, I think want to see a government that is protecting their jobs and livelihoods, but is also setting a course which will give a brighter future for them and their children.